All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribe if you're ready. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is a film I've been waiting for for a month or a couple actually. When it was announced, uh, bought tickets right away, been waiting for this, and I just saw it about a couple hours ago. And it's the 2024 Deadpool and Wolverine, aka Deadpool 3. So here's the plot. Wolverine is recovering from his injuries when his cro when he crosses paths with the loudmouth Deadpool. They team up to defeat a common enemy. Now here is some of the cast, and there's a lot of them. This was the most ridiculous comic book film I have ever seen. Uh, endless non-stop gore, extremely over-the-top violence, and so much fan service, and so much more stuff that I really, really had a fun time with. This was everything I wanted and expected from a Deadpool film. Now I will say the main plot was weak, but other the but the other parts of the story was definitely uh strong in my opinion in my opinion also not the best film of 2024 because it's just a comic book film to be honest let's be real and it's out of all of them um but easily the most fun film i've ever experienced in so many years not just 2024 but just in years uh, also such a great send-off and tribute to the old and long uh, legacy of X-Men universe films and past of the past 20 years, 20 some years actually, uh, definitely made me feel old despite only being 35 years old and turning 36 in December. Just a side note. But here's my rating. I'll come back my thoughts. They really went all out and then some on this film. Again, such a blast of a film. And I got what I wanted and more as a Deadpool fan and a Wolverine, a.k.a. Uh, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, a.k.a. the uh, uh, Wolverine uh, played by Hugh Jackman, who is old and was tired. And from my uh, my understanding is the reason why, he even, why this even happened, and we were so lucky as fans, is because uh, De uh, Ryan Reynolds convinced um, Hugh Jackman to come back, you know, uh, for at least one more time. A perfect send-off. Which, technically, when it came to the Logan Marvel universe of X-Men, they did a good job with that. However, I think it's just kind of a more of a, a huge bonus as far as fans. And they really, really did a good job with this. Again... The plot, main plot, was kind of weak, but everything easily overlapped that downside and made it a plus. Um, but so I obviously recommend this film to oh, you. There's so much to unpack, and I can't tell you because this is a spoiler free review. But again, go in. Uh, would I say go to the theater, see this? To be honest, I don't think it's necessary. Um, but it's, it's definitely something to either way you won't, you won't feel like you lost your money. Uh, but it's, it's just kind of like, it's, it's a comic book film, but it's also just kind of a ridiculous, huge over the top kind of dark comedy gore type of, of, uh, fan service film. Um, uh, honestly, I would say this is better than the actual Marvel film that was a fan service that was with the three Spider-Mans. I forgot what it's called, Far From Home or something. Um, even though I like that film a lot. Um, but yeah. So, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.